on a little shirt. We're gonna paint the shirt white with a little shadowing. And where there is no shirt right here, I'm gonna paint that just black. So, let's see. Yeah, if you can't hear me, <laughs> you're not gonna hear this. But yeah, uh, Becky's telling y'all to go out and come back in, so just do that. I don't know what to tell you. I'm gonna just do my thing, and hopefully it'll pan out, and if it don't, I'll be upset. So six by 12 is our canvas. These come from Dick Blit. Um, I buy them in bulk because oftentimes they're even cheaper than the ones on sale at Michael's. Thank you, Nadine, for the stars. So, Teresa says she went out and came back in and it worked. So, that's great. All right. So, I am going to go ahead and just trace my image. Now, my shirt is going to be white. Uh, so, I could go ahead and just put a coat of white on. But since I have to paint the white anyway to uh, be able to do my shading and stuff, I'm just going to go ahead and paint and trace it. And then we will deal with the white. So I gotta get it just right so my shirt's on here correctly. I don't want it to be messed up. I went too far. All right, so right there, and of course, where's my tape? I'm gonna put this tape that is all messed up. I, th I think you can, Jane. Glenda says in her name though, cause we're, you could probably hear me talking if I wasn't on the interweb. Okay, so here is our tie. It looks a little wonky. I need to straighten that up a little. Hang on. It looks a little wonky to me. Probably just me. Let me grab another piece of tape. We are gonna paint this cute idea, didn't I? Little brown arms. I love the beach, so okay, I'm trying to get my tie straight as well as my, okay, we're going for this. So I'm gonna take my tracer down, and I even put on here what color those were so I don't get completely confused, because lately that is a real life thing, because I, I've been staying confused. Where did my stylus go? Y'all, I promise I cannot keep up anything right now. This studio is still a train wreck. And I'm on the struggle bus. All right, I'm gonna stick my graphite paper under here. And we're gonna trace out our tie. Now, I'm gonna very lightly trace around the collar because that is gonna be white and I don't wanna have to paint um, a thousand coats. I have a rug. Um, I'm sitting on a rug right now. There's two rugs in this room, actually, but there's nothing on the wall, so that might be part of the echo. But there is actually a couple of things on the walls, but not much. So that is probably why there's a little echo. There's actually a wood wall behind me, which should also be absorbing sound. And so I don't know. For whatever reason, nothing seems to be going right. And I may need to get my studio blessed <laughs> because I am thinking, there's our little tie knot, thinking that we got some crazy mojo in here or something. All right, so here's the outline of my tie. And I got a few little stars here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sketch them out. Remember when we were kids, and we used to make um, stars without even lifting up? Remember how you would do it like without even lifting up your pencil? All right, so that's gonna be blue. And then we got red and white stripes down here. Red and white, red and white. 
Y'all remember last year's sunflower? Patriotic sunflower. Thank you, Bev. And uh, I'm just tracing, so I don't think I need to go super slow for that. So I am going to, this is where the tie's got, kind of got a little bend in it, so I'm going to add a little shadow. And let's take a peek and make sure, nope, I missed something, y'all. I missed a little piece. Let's tuck that in. I forgot to do this side. Now, before I take my tape off, I'm going to take a peek again and make sure that um, everything is traced on. Yeah. Yeah, before the interwebs, we all did that, didn't we? We did those funny stars. All right, I'm gonna take this off so I don't get it messed up. And if you are a member, you will have this tracer sometime tomorrow. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. This is our shirt collar shirt. This, we're gonna paint black, okay? That's exactly what I was thinking about, Margaret. Um, and then we're gonna do blue here with white stars. And down here, we're going to do alternating red and white stripes. And we're gonna do it a little messy. We're not trying to make perfectly lined up stripes. I like, I'm gonna do it a little messy. I do, if you guys have seen some of my flags where I use a palette knife to uh, create the stars and stripes and intermix the colors. You kind of know where I'm going with that. I like it to be a little messy and not perfect. So we are. I'm going to start by painting a coat of white on the part of my shirt that's going to be white and in the white stripe area because we're going to um, be playing around with a little bit of color there as well. So let me get a brush that is appropriately sized. So I'm gonna use this, I think this is a three quarter inch. It's just a three quarter inch flat. And let me see, I'm just gonna use this dirty plate because it's not dead yet. I'm gonna scoop this over. If you can kinda see where I'm coming from over here on my plate. So I'm gonna put a little white on my plates. Ooh, I know it needs a blessing or something because it seems like things have been hokey since we moved here. Ugh. Get off my thing. So we're gonna put a little white on our plates and do just a quick coat of white on our shirt parts. All right, so it's gonna be here. And I'm just gonna go right over my tracer line on the white area because the white is not gonna cover it completely. And it'll help me push that tracer line back just a little bit, enough that I'll still be able to see it, but I won't be fighting to cover it when I do, when I start on, you know, the final pieces. Okay, so this, and this part of the shirt is gonna be white too. So let's do the collar right here, close to that tracer line as we can get. And we're gonna be doing a little shadowing to really make the shirt pop and stand out. Hey Carol, hey Stacy. So let's Go ahead and get the entire shirt part. Uh-oh, I see a little icky. Yuck. Get the shirt done. Right up next to that line. This is the boring part because it's just paint and white over the top of white. But the canvas needs the paint. And Gonna do some shading too, so there's that. Okay, now let's do this side. I really 
struggled earlier with deciding whether I wanted to do a white shirt or something like a light blue, but I ended up deciding on the white because I think it's just clean and fresh. You could really do, thank you, Stacy. you really do any color shirt you wanted, for sure. Black would be super cool with that tie and the colors in the tie. That would be cool. But yeah, you could do any color you want. Ugh, I'm getting little books. All right, so almost there, guys. Boring part is almost over. All right, so all that is covered. Let me get that off. No ickies. Okay, so on the actual tie part, the stripe starts white. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that first coat of white on the first stripe. Gotta start somewhere, don't you? So we'll get that first stripe on. Off there. I need a new white. And I'm going to get a little bit of a smaller brush to do that one because this one's a little fat. Uh, for that middle stripe, I don't want to get it over in. <laughs> Even with the boring parts, that's funny. I'm just chatter chatter. I, guys, it's so funny too because when I am in the studio and I'm not live and I'm working, I talk to myself still, just like you guys were here. And the girls are often like, Who are you talking to? Are you talking to me? Because I just chatter away, telling myself stuff. Don't forget to do this. Or, Girl, why would you do that? You did that backwards. I talk to myself all the time. Mostly because I like a professional opinion. Ha 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 ha. That was supposed to be funny, y'all. That's supposed to be funny. Okay, so basically we're first coat, we're doing our first coat of the white. The white shirt, the white stripes. Then I'm going to get a tinier brush and do a first coat on the little stars. Then we'll start with the blue the red and the black, and then we'll do our details, okay? Boring stuff first. So let's get a little white on these stars. And they're messy little stars, so don't worry too much about them. Hang on, I gotta do something different here. I need my hand, I need my hand on something. I need, I need, I need, hang on. Well, I just got white paint on my I'm going to say in my shirt, put my boobies in my canvas. So we'll get those the first coat of white on those little stars. Then we'll do the blue. Okay. So, first coat on all the white stuff. Now let's go ahead and do the blue. And for the blue, oh gosh, I know Darlene, isn't that funny? Um, uh, I'm doing Midnight Blue, which is kind of a bright, splaggish blue color. You could use any blue you want. Like it, it's kind of bright and fun. And I'm gonna get a little bit of a smaller brush so I can go around the stars without messing them up too much. And this is about a quarter inch. It's actually probably not. It says, it doesn't say what it is, but it's a little, it's a baby. It's a little baby flat. And I'm gonna go into my blue. And we're gonna paint, I need this again. Something to put my hand on. We're gonna paint the blue. Ugh, hang on, hang on y'all. Can I shake that better or get a darker blue? Aim. Let's try this. 
That was oily. Don't you hate it when you open them and it's like, ugh. That one wasn't shook up very good. All right, let's try again. Blue, let's do this again, much better. And there is, don't, okay. We're in don't you hate it mode today because don't you hate it when there's like a crazy loose hair and you want a fine line, you want to get right up to the edge but then that one little stray hair wants to mess you up. All right, so let's do right up to that star edge. We'll come around. I'm gonna get around the outside of everything first. Around where that's, this is the, like the tie knot. Not the Y knot, but the tie knot. Oh, look, let's just pop this little star out. And if you have shaky hands like mine, that's why you want to do kind of messy stuff. Because, you know, if you go in thinking, okay, this is going to be loosey-goosey, a little messy, not perfect, then you're not disappointed when your hands shake like crazy. So that's a little star too. And actually I want to cover that one up because it looks funny. Because it'll just be butted up against the white and you can't really tell what it is. So let's go around the tie knot. What is going on? Hang on y'all. Hang on, give me a sec. I got a little, some kind of issue. <sighs> what is happening? The thing keeps my, um, thing keeps coming unplugged. Give me a sec. Get her, let me get it back together. Does it say, somebody said it says the video has ended? Huh? Are we still live, y'all? Somebody give me some stars or hearts or something if we're still here. Otherwise, I'm just talking to myself. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's hard to know. So we're gonna go around that little star. You guys are awesome keeping me in line, aren't you? Oops. That's kind of tedious for a girl with arthritis. All right. Now, we got a little bit of that blue flag uh, coming down into the top part. So we're going to line that up. Ooh, shake, shake, shake. And then we'll highlight and shadow so you'll be able to see the knot better. Knot, knot, not the knot. All right, I'm gonna turn this upside down just because it's gonna be a little easier for me for a second to do this side of the little tie piece. Whoa, what was that? Oh my goodness. All right, let's go back. So that's our, this is the top half of our tie. And we're gonna let this dry while we do the red. Actually, I think I'm gonna put a little bit of black. You know what? Since I have this blue out, instead of doing black here, where there it's the background, I'm just gonna do this blue. I'm just gonna do the same blue. Watch this. So watch. We'll just do blue. Do blue. Okay, so if you are 
on this live and you're a member of the Shattered Circle and you watched last night's workshop in the group, I did a cute little art piece and everybody was trying to tell me I needed to resin the sides. Y'all know, if you followed me for 10 minutes, you know I do not like to resin the sides. I don't know what it is about the sides. So everybody was trying to get me to resin the sides because I actually made too much resin. And uh, so I want to know who thinks I did not resin or did or did not resin those sides. What do you think? Did I resin those sides? Did I? Did I? <laughs> All right, we'll do this side. Now I'm not gonna take this blue, I am gonna have to fix the edge, but I am gonna take this blue, um, I don't know what I was trying to say. I'm not gonna take this blue over the sides, even though if it was uh, gonna be a darker piece, I would, but just having this little bit of blue right in this place, I'm not gonna make those sides weird, but I will have to probably do a little fix up on the edge. Yes, you resined. Yes, you resin did not. Yes, I am Rose. Rose is here. She's under the name Boom. Uh, as I had extra, I did. I, okay, I did. I resin the side, y'all. I did it. I resin the side. Y'all be so proud of me. So proud. All right, so that's our first coat of the blue. I'm gonna rinse, and now we're gonna do red. And for my red, especially, <laughs> I did. Y'all know I am cheap. I love a sale. I love, I won't buy nothing. If I'm, uh, I'm one of those, if it's free, it's for me kind of girl. I resin the sides, because I may have all that resin. Oh. And um, I could not. Just walk away from it. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna rinse, and then we're gonna do our um, red stripes, and then we can get down to the nitty gritty. I know, Tracy. <laughs> I know, I knew when I was doing it that you guys would be shocked, because I just did not want to, and I didn't at first. After I got off the live, Steve and I talked for a few minutes, and he was asking me how much resin I had left over, and uh, we were trying to figure out what to do about eating. And I said, oh God, I got resin these sides. I can't stand this resin sitting here wasting. Ooh. Hey, that's pretty good for, a, for <laughs> uh, I know I didn't do me, what in the world? That's pretty uh, nice for, um, my whose hands feel as shaky as mine do today. Not bad at all. Sometimes I think if you just go faster, instead of trying to like inch along, if your hands are a little shaky like mine, if you go a little faster, just get a lot of paint on, and go a little faster, you have less boo-boo, less wiggle. That's my story anyway. <laughs> Yeah, it is a personal choice for sure. And I think I was doing so much in the beginning. Was I was doing so many art pieces and to try to micromanage those edges was driving me crazy. So it's a personal choice and I'm happy for y'all who do it. There's no wrong, right? No wrong way. You do what works for you. All right, there's one. <laughs> um, it's cherry red. Uh, okay, that's a little skinny. Gotta hold my mouth right. Boom. Whew. All right, let's get, I need just a little more red here. I'm gonna use a tinier brush for that because 
nervous because I'm making my own self nervous. I don't want to mess that up. It's hard to cover red over white. So if I made a boo-boo and then had to repaint the white over it, taking 45 minutes to get that covered. So we're gonna, we're gonna be smart. I'm not always smart. <laughs> I do stupid things sometimes, trust me. All right, so now we have one color coated on everything. This is kinda how it's gonna be, all right? So here's what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna take my white, and I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna draw this, but I'm gonna take my white. Actually, I think I'll start with my, the center. I'll start with the flag. So we'll do a second coat of the blue, and while that blue is wet, we'll do a little bit of highlight and a little bit of um, shadowing on the blue part. Then we'll move down, same thing, highlight shadow, highlight shadow, and until we get done, and we'll do the shirt last. Let me grab, let's get this dry. There is my charger. Okay, I'll give that a second or two to, uh, Cool off while I look for my, I'm just irritating my own self. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and second coat the top piece, the knot of the tie, and we're gonna use a little bit of the white, and I'm gonna put a little bit of black on my plate as well. And we're gonna use the black to shadow and the white to highlight on the blue, all right? So let's get our brush again. And use that blue. I'm trying to, I'm trying to decide where to start because I want, I don't want to paint the whole thing and it be completely dry before we start. So my shadows are going to be in that upper V where the tie knot is kind of tucked up under. It's, I can tell my canvas is still too warm because it's drying almost instantly. So that is where my shadow is gonna be. So I'm gonna get that done. And then while I'm waiting. I'm gonna get a little bit of black just on the corner, and I am, let's get a little bit more. I'm gonna add just a little bit of that black right there. And it's kind of hard to see right now because I don't have the whole thing done, but we're gonna add that shadow where the tie is tucked up under the collar. So let's do this side, and then we'll fill in the middle. Making myself nervous. Being a nervous Nelly today. Right. While that is wet, I'm going to, here's what I'm doing. I'm using my napkin and just getting the excess blue off. I'm gonna grab up a tiny bit of black on the corner, go back and forth to blend it. And then I'm gonna add that black right on that collar line. But I gotta do it over here too. This teeny tiny little spot. I gotta fix that red spot too, I forgot about it. All right, so now I can second coat the rest of the knot of the tie. We're gonna work in sections. Let's get around this little star. Let's 
I am seriously holding my breath, y'all. It's like, stop uh, with my breath. All right, so while that is wet, I'm gonna offload my brush onto my napkin just to get some of the excess. I'm gonna dip my corner into the white. See how much? Just a teeny tiny bit. I'm gonna go back and forth on my plate to blend, whoops, not, not enough, to blend that in. And I'm gonna come around the bottom of that necktie and we're gonna add just a little bit. All right, that's a dry brush, so that's why it's not spreading the way it needs to because I didn't have enough water. So let's try again. So we're gonna go around the bottom of that necktie with just a hint of white on a little more of a hint. Hang on. <laughs> a little hint of white on the corner to just give that a little bit of a 3D effect. All right, let me show you that close up. So basically, we're just focused on that knot. So you can see it's really minimal, but you can see there's a dark shadow here and here, and I'm gonna actually put a little shadow on that star too in just a minute. I need to come back and do that. And, oh, I'm sorry, Catherine. I had one yesterday, it was terrible. So now, I'm gonna use a clean brush to do that. I don't wanna use this one. I'm gonna get, we're gonna work on the bottom half, and, Straighten that out. I'm gonna fill it in. We're gonna kind of do the same thing. We're gonna get a little. Ooh. I need to get some more of that blue. Hang on. I need to take a breath. Catherine, my head hurt so bad yesterday, I cannot even function. I'm actually fairly shocked that I was able to pull off that art piece we did without having a huge mess. I was in some pain. So we'll get this blue part done. We're gonna add some black. Right, let me offload. So where I did the white on the knot right here in that curve, on this part of the tie, I'm gonna add the black along that edge. I'm actually gonna rinse really well. I'm gonna get a tiny bit of black on the corner. I'm gonna go back and forth, get it really loose and because I'm gonna come over, watch this, I'm gonna do this one first. I'm gonna come over and just add that little shadow to define that one star right there. You see what I did? So we're gonna do it again on this side, just to define that star a little. Get a little more black. And I'm gonna come underneath. That's really gonna make the, blue, the white line on the underside of the knot. That's gonna make that pop really well too. We'll get it over here. And then we'll come down this side. Then I'm gonna rinse the black off. Oh honey, I was struggling. I was struggling. All right, I'm gonna get some white on the corner, back and forth. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of white right along that bottom edge. And a little bit here and there, wherever I feel like, around those stars a couple of times. All right, so that is the knot and the blue part of our star. Now what we'll do before um, we're done is come in and redefine those stars a little, but I don't care about them being perfect. 
so um, they're pretty close to being done, right? So now we're gonna do our we're gonna do our red stripes. We're gonna have a big time with those. I'm gonna second coat them, and then we're gonna add some fun. Let's see. So cherry red again. Second coat the red. quick if I can so that I'm working wet on wet because I'm going to get a little messy purposely. Get it done, get it done. Alright. All the way down to the tip of the tie. All right, that's all. Got wet paint. I'm gonna offload that red onto my paper towel. I'm gonna pick up just a tiny bit of white just on the very tips of my bristles. And I'm gonna come in and just add, let's do it again, tiny bit of white. You don't want a lot, just tip in to the white. We're just gonna add some white. to our red stripe, all right? I don't want to start and stop right on those, so. All right, now I'm gonna offload that red, and I'm gonna grab a little bit of that blue, just on the tippies again, and I'm gonna add just a few little blobs of the blue, too. So there is our stripe, just giving a little extra oomph, all right? We're going to do the same thing to the other one. Then we're going to dry it and do our shadow. Shingle shot. Ooh. Oh, it kind of does, doesn't it? <laughs> now that you mentioned it. Okay, I need to get the tip of that red. Because remember I said I didn't trust myself to go all the way up. So let me go here. Oh, that's too much water. There we go. Now. All right, I need more red. It was a pretty day here too. So let's get this one done and then we'll add a little bit of extra fun to it as well because we can't have it just plain not bad oh golly hang on y'all I done done it I done went and done it do y'all see that little dot of red right there so hard to get off. I'm gonna try just to dab it. Yeah, nope, hang on. Hang on. I don't want that there. I need, I should have grabbed one. Oh my Lord. <laughs> hang on, I need to wipe and they're in on my desk in the office. There we go. There we go, just a little water. Just a little water all fixed, all fixed. Okay, so while that, it's not quite as wet as I want it to be now, since we had a little moo moo. So I'm gonna get a little bit more red on here, just to make sure. Offload, we're gonna grab a little bit of white just on the little bitty tips. Thank you, Donna. It was so much fun, even though I did have a horrible headache. It was fun, and I love the way it turned out. So, all right, so a few little white stripes. We're gonna grab a little bit of the blue. 
and we'll just make one or two little skinny blues. Voila. All right, so I'm gonna hit this with my dryer again because I want, I got one more thing to do to the red stripes. So we're basically building up color. Starting with one coat, I like to call it the base. Just that ground coat, and then you add more paint and details. We'll let that dry a second. While that's drying, I'm gonna grab a brush, and I'm gonna hit these corners one more time while that's cooling off. had a loose hair. Hang on y'all. I'm in correction mode. I'm trying to make sure I don't have a bunch of paint on my hands too. Gotta yeah, fix this. I'll show you what I did. I don't know if you can even see it, but up close right here, I had a stray hair and it made a mess up one. Not perfect, but it's okay. All right, so that's the inside of the shirt, guys. We're gonna shadow and highlight that, but that is the inside. It's like if you lay a shirt down and spread it out on the bed, then if your collar's sitting right, that's the inside of the shirt. So we're gonna paint that like the inside of the shirt. All right. So that's cooled off. So now what I'm gonna do is take a small flat and I'm gonna get a tiny bit of that black on my brush. Let's run it through. And at the top where the red meets the knots or the blue, I'm just gonna put a little me. No, 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 nope. I'm gonna put a little bit of black just as a little bit of a shadow, right? What is happening? Right there. Right there. What in heaven's name? Hang on, y'all. These brushes are on my nerves. They ain't acting right. I'm gonna come all the way across into my white as well. So you can see close up <laughs> the sound effects. I know, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I added that little bit of black right under that blue section to kind of create a shadow. All right, now I'm gonna come, I'm gonna use that same brush and I'm gonna get a little bit more black on there. And I'm going to come right down one edge of, I'm getting on my own nerves, one edge of the red stripe and just add a little bit of that black, just a tiny bit, just to create a shadow. So you can see that. And on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing with white. Right, so damp brush. I'm gonna go into the white just on the corner. And I'm gonna come up this side. There is literally, what is going on? It's like a dip. 
into the white. I go back and forth. And then when I come over here, there's no white. There's a little bit. Where uh, there was white on this brush. Something going on here. Maybe this water's too dirty. All right, so we're going to do the same thing to the other side, I think. I don't know. Maybe we're not. Yes, it does make it look more 3D. That's kind of the goal. So instead of just being a flat color, it's got a little bit of a 3D effect. So I'm just come right down with a little bit of black, just a tiny amount, guys. Less is more when it comes to shadowing. And I wish I had a bottle of water because I think my problem is my water is so dirty that none of the colors are coming, like especially the white. I'm gonna go into my white. I'm gonna make a little bit of a white, a little highlight right here. Let's get a little more. It's like a comedy hour. Comedy of errors. There we go. A little bit right in there. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that. Kind of messy, kind of fun, all right? Now, we're gonna work on the white parts, for the flag part first. So let me get, I think I'm gonna need to get a clean brush. All my brushes are icky for some reason. Let's get a clean one. All right, so I'm gonna second coat the white. Oh, water, yay! I'm gonna get a clean cup. There, because my water is black and red and it's just mixing in to everything. So, I don't wanna do that with my white. So I'm going to second coat with my white. We're just going to come in and add another coat of that white. I'm going to get right up next to my red without getting into it. And I'm not trying to be perfect because, you know, it's a white shirt too, but we're going to highlight shadow around that, so. Okay, so I got a second coat of white on the white stripey. So while it's all still wet, I'm gonna offload, I'm gonna grab a tiny bit of red. Pray this works out. I got a tiny little bit of red on the tip of my bristle. Now I'm just gonna kinda come through and add A little bit. I don't want that much of that red. Kind of overdid it, but we're going to go with it. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna do this side. See a little cleanser in there. <laughs> Judy, I know, it's like I'm talking to myself and I'm like, girl, what is wrong with you? You are making a mess. Should have used a palette knife to do the pink or the red into the blue. And I don't even know what my colors are now. All right, one, all the way down. Let 
right? And I think on this side, I'm gonna go into that blue, get a little bit of blue on the very tip tips of my bristle, and we're gonna do a little bit of the blue on this one. And we're gonna calm it down a little. Calm it down. <laughs> exactly. That's what I always say. I need expert advice, so I just talk to myself. I'm going to get this dry, and I'm going to come back over with just a little bit of white and kind of push some of that blue backwards. But I don't hate it. So that's a good thing. So I'm going to hit this with the dryer. And you know what I love? That's right, Margaret. You know what I love is it's paint. So even if you're painting something and you're like, oh my God, this is not working out the way I wanted it. This is not exactly what I wanted. This is your friend. Just get it a little dry and then do another step, another coat. Paint over it. That's what I love about this. All right, so I'm gonna get a little white and we're just gonna add a little white. Not that, though. Look at that, look at that. Ugh. Yeah, we're gonna definitely use the magic pen. We might add a little gold, the gold pen. Right? That would be super cool. All right, so we're gonna come back and push a little bit of that blue back. And how you look, guys? I'm pretty happy with that. Not in hate. Not in hate with it. All right. Now, we're gonna get to, let me get a bigger brush. We're gonna get to that V up here at the top. That is the inside of the shirt, okay? So, I'm gonna take a bigger brush. I'm gonna paint that white again. Then we're gonna add a little bit of shadowing. with bleached sand. Just kind of an off-white color. All right, so I'm gonna go in. I added a fair amount to the corner. I'm gonna start right here at my tie, and I'm gonna come up, stay on my line. So I'm going over that tracer line I'll get a little mo. I want it to be a little thicker. We're gonna come on this side of it. Oh man. And we're gonna make that little bit of shadow where the inside of the shirt has got a little bit more color than the outside, All right? Voila. Did get a little boo-boo right here. Let's fix it. Don't you be messing up. All right, now. Oh, thank you, uh, Rose. It was hard to find for a while, Lou, and I actually bought like six bottles of it when I found it one time. I was like, oh my goodness, this is a freaking me out. Okay, so now on our collar, we're gonna kind of do the same thing, just in a little more of a minimal way. So around this collar, I'm gonna use that same bleach sand, 
And we're gonna add a little bit of that shadowy effect. Come on. You know what? I'm not doing that color. I'm doing gray. I brought gray too. So I think I'm gonna do gray around the collar. So let's try something different. Oh, all right, I'm gonna get a different brush too. Okay, let's go back to gray. I'm gonna erase what I just did. I don't want that color. All right, so new brush. The gray is Cable Knit Gray. And we're gonna do that color, I think. Let me see. Oh my goodness, y'all. Yeah, that's probably the problem. It's because it's dry. <laughs> it's dry and it needs some wetness. Thank you. See, my brain is still on vacation, obviously. So, put that second coat of white. on that section and then while it is still wet we'll get a little gray and now we can go around the outside of the collar very lightly just want to define it a little bit you don't want a big dark line just want a little definition see little definition. And I'm going to use that same gray. Hang on. Thanks for keeping me on task. And I'm going to come right up here on this line and do <laughs> much better and do a little bit of gray. Dad nab it. Y'all, I promise. I should have just went home and gone to bed. <laughs> okay. Let's go home and go to bed. Let's try again. Y'all, I promise, if you're new here, I am so sorry. <laughs> Y'all, tell these people who are new here that this is not typical. I don't always act like a crazy person. Maybe I do. I just don't think I do. Maybe I'm wrong. See, that's too dark. This is an example of not, you know how when I get it on the corner and then I swipe back and forth to blend it? That's an example of what happens when you don't blend it. It ends up too dark and it looks more like a hard line instead of a shadow. What not to do? <laughs> All right, so we take a little bit of that back. I just got a little water on my brush and just kind of erased some of it. All right, now I'm gonna continue on this side. I'm gonna second coat my white. And I'm gonna add a little bit of that gray right along the top to create a little shadow. All right, so let's get a little bit of that gray. Let me wet my brush a little. Get a little bit of this gray right on the corner, just a tiny bit. You know what, you know what I'm doing? Getting a new plate. Blaming my plate now, like that's the problem. And I'm gonna come right around the top with that tiny bit of gray just to make it a little 3D. And I'll show you this close up as soon as I get my mouth right. Ow. 
Oh, dead net. That hurt. Just to create a little 3D effect on the side. So you can see a little bit, just a very minor shadow. Lord have mercy. You're never going to get to resin. Can't get through the paint. All right, so let's second coat the rest. I'm about to get that gold paint pen out and just start golding everything up. All right. Get a little bit of the gray again. I'm gonna come over here to do that so I can see what I'm doing. We're gonna come around. Voila, that worked out, y'all. <laughs> That's right, Devin. We're going to go with that. <laughs> so, okay, let's rinse and we're going to do the other side. Oh, let's hope it goes better. So we're going to start with some fresh white. Yeah. Second coat, our little collar. Oh, y'all, I almost forgot. Look what I have. So while I'm second coating, y'all can talk about this. These are the only buttons I could find that I thought I could paint. And I know they're a little big, but I was thinking if we painted them and put them on the collar, it would give it a little bit of a whimsy. But now I'm not sure if we need whimsy or if we just paint a button on the collar to kind of make that collar stand out a little better. So I'll let y'all argue amongst yourselves. <laughs> I'm going to go a little gray. We'll do the gray dance over here. I'm going to come right up along the inside of that collar. And then we're going to come here. And a little tiny bit here. Look how well that worked out. All right. Oh. Let me go this way. Yeah, I need to start. Maybe that's what the problem is. Maybe that's what the problem is. I don't, I'm drinking water. I'm drinking water. Yeah, I like the button idea too. And I thought I had some smaller buttons. Where'd it go? I thought I had some smaller buttons, but I don't. So, I may just paint some on. But if you have buttons, then uh, I would suggest you do that. All right, so let's do this side. Second coat the white without the little booger. my gray and hit that line real quick. So we'll get a little gray. We'll go back and forth, blend it out so it's not a big harsh line. And I got, I got way too much stuff here. I'm going to go right down the collar. Oh, come on. Y'all. I moved that at the wrong time. We'll just shadow on this side of the tie too. 
just a very light, hardly anything shadow. All right, can y'all see that? Can you see that? I'm gonna finish this side up. Ah, uh, right. Cut one off his shirt. That's hilarious, but he's not here. <laughs> he's not here tonight. I don't know why. He's got his nerve, don't he? He's got his nerve. Let me get this part. Then we'll go right up next to... Just landed on me. Oh, hang on, y'all. Something like jumped on me and then jumped away. I don't know what that was, but whatever it was, that ain't cool. Not cool, man. Right up next to the tie. If y'all hear me scream, you know why. Get a little bit of the gray again. And we'll hit that right up. That was too dark. Oh, what a cool time to have a wedding. Fourth of July. All right. So that's our shadowing. For the tie, I kind of feel like, hang on, I'm going to do it in here, hang on, I'm going to try something, don't try this at home, I'm going to try something, if I don't like it, we can erase, I'm just going to add a little bit of white, I'm going to get a tiny bit of gray, and just Get a little bit movement on this shirt. It's just too stark for me. Thanks, Lily. So I'm just adding a little bit of white to the middle. Then I'm gonna get a tiny amount of gray on my brush. And, well, that wasn't a tiny amount. Just add a little bit of color, that dirty shirt, the laundromat, where the cleaners are not doing their job, got a dirty shirt. There we are. Oh, I gotta sneeze, y'all. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Woo, excuse me. My goodness. Ooh, wow. Sorry. All right. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. I might actually do a little bit of that on, I wanna clean this up real quick. Cause gosh, I might resin the side, y'all. <laughs> um, I might do a little bit of that on the lower part of the shirt too, because thank you, thank you, thank you. Cause I like the way it kind of dirtied it up. Can you even see? that it kind of dirtied up the shirt a little. Look at all those blessings. I'm gonna be so blessed. So much blessings. All right, let me see. I can't. Oh, now I'm sneezing. We're gonna add just a little bit of white again. And I'm gonna do both sides, just a little. Oh, what is that? Oh, that boogaloo. So it's not stark white. I like that better. It feels better. It looks better. Just a little bit of 
dirtying up. Is it freezing again? Oh my goodness. Tiny bit of gray. Oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all see the red? I need to walk away. Sometimes you just need to stop. All right, I'm gonna stop this time, y'all, I promise. Sometime soon. All right, let's get this dry and see what we can do with our pins. Oh, goodness gracious. I'm gonna show you a close-up before and after. figure out what jumped on me because um, I don't want to have a cow on the page. All right, I am going to find my special, special pen. Where's my gold? Where's my gold? Okay, I got it. Why in heaven's names can't I find anything I want? For my gold pen and my black marker, my black classic. I used it last night, so I know it's here. That's not it. There. There's that one. We're going to use that. And here is rose gold. Here it is. Uh, this is a little fatter than I want. I'm trying to think, where did I use it last? So I have a fine marker that is this deco color gold. This one is a regular one, it's, so it's got a fat tip. Don't really want to use that, but I do want to add some gold. So I may not have a choice because... I'm trying to remember when's the last time I used it. I can't get the top off either. This this is going amazingly, isn't it? <laughs> this is going amazingly. Needs a tiny line there to pour the top, separating the front since a button up. Oh, okay. We'll do that with a pen. So I'm gonna shake, shake, shake while I also see if I can find the other pen. I don't really want to use this one. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Shake, shake, shake. You want to shake it to get all that ink mixed up. Don't y'all hate it when you can't find what you want? You're making me crazy. I know it was here. I'm going to go and buy 20 of them. All right, we got to do a test. Let's do a test. Oh, we gotta bleed it now. See, this is what me my other bed. Here it comes though. Okay. Now, the, today, Sherry, has been like a few too many mishaps. Just a little, it's a little much today. A little much. So this is a gold metallic pen. It's not the one I wanted, but we're gonna play with it anyway. And I'm literally going to use just one side of the tip. And I'm gonna come down my red stripe and just add a touch of gold to 
that edge, and I don't know why, because uh, because I can, and I think I'm gonna add just a smidge of gold here and maybe here, just a little touch. Do it right of gold there. Okay, that was a lot. That was not very much work for a lot of complaining about not being able to find, find my pen. So kind of here's what we're working with now. Yes, I will, Amy. It's crazy, isn't it? Judy says she gets nervous when I put things on top of the artwork. <laughs> I know, I should not do that. So I'm gonna hit this with a dryer just for a second so that I don't smear that gold ink. I don't think it will smear, but I don't wanna take any chances. Oh, you're welcome, Rose. I do that all the time, especially if I'm doing fine work. So you kinda gotta have something for your hand to be uh, to be touching. Okay, so I'm gonna use my pen and do just some detail work, just a few little lines here and there to accentuate. We'll go around our little stars. We should have put a little gold on the stars. Just a little something in those stars. Boom, 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 down, down, around. We'll come short strokes, go around and down. I like short strokes and I cannot lie. Boom, boom. Let's do a dot, dot, dot. And we'll put our little line here. Very muted, not in your face kind of line. And a little line there. Okay, so we're gonna come around our stripes and add lines there with our magic pen. And that looks so much better, doesn't it? <laughs> that looks so much better. I am gonna grab that gold pen again, even though it's too fat, really. And I'm gonna go right on just a few little lines around my gold. I mean around my star. Not much, just a little something. Make them pop. All right, I can't help it. I would color the whole thing gold if I could. So cute, look. Okay, so here is our piece. So this is just like background, okay? Here's the inside of our shirt, our collar, our shirt, our tie, so, so cute, love it. So tell me, um, do we paint buttons or no? Leave it, paint buttons. I wanna add glass. I think we're gonna add um, just some seed beads. And these are the ones we're gonna add. We're gonna be very minimalistic with that as well. So we're using the um, bead treasures from Hobby Lobby and it is, they're called dark red, okay? So I'm actually gonna resin, and then I'm gonna sprinkle the beads into the red, and then I'm gonna sprinkle some clear into the white area, and, that, and then, oh, y'all almost fell out of my chair. Hang on. This is just a lot. So what we're gonna do is go ahead, no buttons, just glass. Okay, fine, perfect. I wanna make sure I have all my colors lined up so I don't forget for my peoples. And I'm gonna mix resin. Really, this time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix up 
a total one half ounce. Now I said that last night and ended up making too much. So we're gonna really do it right this time. So um, bear with me. I have a cup and I'm gonna mark it a quarter ounce and a quarter ounce. So we'll do a quarter ounce line here. And then the half ounce line is here. So we're just gonna pour that into one cup. If you're new, I'm gonna tell you like I always do, if you're new and you're just starting out with resin, don't mix in one cup. Mix, pour your hardener in one cup, your resin in the next cup. Thank you, Catherine. Uh, your resin in the next cup and then mix them together in one cup, leaving mixing space. Do not attempt to do it in one, because odds are you're gonna um, over pour one or the other, and then you're gonna have a little mess, because you're not gonna know. Trust me, I speak from experience. Speak from experience. I do not fib about that. Okay, so we have resin and hardener. Thank you, Margaret. And I know I'm gonna tempt fate and do it right here on top. So y'all hold your breath. I'm gonna pour one quarter ounce of the hardener very slowly because a quarter ounce is not very much and it's gonna start catching up fast. Yeah, don't do this either. I'm doing it for video's sake, honestly. And yeah, it should make you nervous. But I'm doing it really so you can see what I'm doing and I'm just tempting fate every second. So there's my hardener. Now we're gonna do the resin. Yeah. You should move your art to the side or move your cup to the side. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna there. And I am going to stir this, mix it together for three minutes. Uh, Catherine is going to time me, so I'm just gonna scrape very slowly. Stir, stir, stir. And, oh, I should have done it. Okay. Somebody earlier said I should put a tag in the back of the shirt that says made in the USA, and I really had kind of planned to do that. Now, um, I think we still have time. Rose th says she's having a little freezing. I think we could just do it with a black pen too, just kind of have a little tag and just write made in the USA once we are mixed. So don't let me forget it again. <laughs> oh, goodness. So don't forget to sprinkle. Um, if you uh, would like to win this piece, we're gonna give it away tomorrow and we'll, be sh we go we'll ship it out on, probably on, tomorrow's Thursday, yeah, probably on Friday to someone. And if you uh, sprinkle the love and let your friends know we're over here and invite them to join us, come back here and tell us that you did that. Your name will go in the hat and we're gonna draw a winner for this piece and we'll just send it right out to you. Let's see. Huh. Still freezing. So I'm just stirring, mixing, scraping. This is probably still too much resin for this little piece. Stir, 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 stir. My iPad keeps going blank. Blank, blank. Uh, spread the love, spread the love. Thank you, 
Debbie. It's kind of cute, isn't it? Tom again. Tom. Catherine says Tom. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to get my little spreader. And before I do anything else, I'm going to grab my pen again. And I'm going to make the tag. Don't kill me. I'm going to just write made in USA really small and then I'll make the tag around it. I got to take this glove off. Can't do it. Thank you, Jennifer, very much. Okay, so I'm going to do it really small, guys. My handwriting is atrocious too. So we'll do a little tag like this. We'll put some little dots where they sewed it in, right? How you think? <laughs> Kinda cute. Kinda cute. <laughs> I needed something in that empty area, didn't it? Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so I am gonna take my resin. I'm just gonna dump some onto my canvas. Probably about 90% of it. And I'm gonna spread it around with my little stick all the way to the edge. The gold really pops with the resin. Now you can use your gloved fingers to do this too, but since I'm using beads, I don't want to get my gloves all icky. All right, we need a little more. We need a little more. I was wrong. It is going to take the half ounce. I thought I might have made too much again, but... Possibly not. All right. I'm going to save just a smidgy in case we need it at the end. Or maybe a quarter spoonful, quarter teaspoon or whatever. All right, I'm going to look at this from a couple of different directions, make sure it is all covered, no skippies. I got a little bit of debris. We're going to get that out. One here, get that out. Come on, debris. And we're going to hit it with our heat gun. And I'm looking for debris. No. All right. I'm going to go around the edge with my finger just to seal that edge. That's what I tell myself anyway that I'm doing. It may be doing nothing. <laughs> Maybe doing nothing. All right. Now I'm going to hit it with my heat gun. Pop our bolts. Pop, 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 pop. All right, voila. Now it is time. I'm gonna take one of my gloves off. It's time for seed beads. Okay, this one is unopened, so I'm gonna use this one. And I'm gonna pour some in a cup. These are bee treasures from Hobby Lobby. A dark red, size 12 zero. I'm just gonna sprinkle, and I can move them around if one goes astray. 
one goes crazy, I'll be able to kind of place it back where I want it. Well, that's pretty good. Ooh. So I don't want to fill it up. I just want to accent it with my beads. So now I'm going to take my little baby tool. Thank you, Lou. And squish anything, kind of move and shift around anything that has gone where I don't want it to go. Just kind of push them back into the red. Oh, I think we're good. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with these seed beads. These are Crystal Luster 12-0, same brand, uh, Bee Treasures, same brand, same place, same store, just a different color. These are kind of iridescent. And if they have, these are still sealed. Ugh. So I'm going to pour some of these into my cup. And we're going to hit the white stripe with these. All right. So let's just tap. I like to put them in a little cup and just tap them in. I feel like I have more control. It feels like sometimes if I am using the tube, if I'm like tapping them out of the tube, I tap it too hard or they just come flying out or something. I don't know. Could all just be in my head. <laughs> that is a strong, strong possibility. So there are those. So we'll shift those around too. Get that back in line where it's supposed to be. Scooch you over. And I'll scoot you over. Oh, I think it's good. It looks good. Looks good. I see debris right here. Boom. Let's get you out of there. Okay. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is so cute. Oh, this is so cute. I think I may add a little bit of to the stars. I'm just gonna put up one little tap and then we'll put, we'll use our little bead tool to squish them around. Just so the stars aren't so plain. Right, right, right. Oh, there's one there too. Let's grab up a star or a bead. One more. Right there. Voila. One more. I can't stop. There. All right. Wipe that off. Oh my goodness. Who wants to see it close up and personal? Let me keep those together so I don't forget what we did. Look. How cute. Look at our tag. Made in the USA. And look at our cute... Patriotic tie for dad, for, Ma for Mother's Day, for Father's Day. Cute, cute, cute. I love it. I actually love it. Mm -hmm.